Hi, welcome to my channel, Jabberdang. Here's another example about triple integral of x dv, where e is bounded by the paraboloid x equals 4y squared plus 4z squared, and the plane x equals 4. Let's get started. The paraboloid is going to go with x, and we do have same number right here 4y squared and 4z squared so it's going to go away from y and z with the same let's say width or radius if you want to call it that way it's kind of tilted right here it looks like an oval because it's from a side view and i do have the details here but i want to show you step by step so also we have this region d the projection on the y z plane will be y square plus z square less than or equal to one using polar coordinates on the y z plane right here this is a circle or a desk actually so we could take advantage of the polar coordinates and do the following we're going to call y Usually it's x and y, so x goes for cosine and z goes for sine. But this time y will be cosine and z will be sine. This is what I mean. y will be r cosine theta because it's a desk right here. And z equals r sine theta. So also, notice that we have y and z here and they are involved inside here so what's y square plus z square will be r square back to the problem now we have x equals 4y square plus 4z square and that is part of the bounds and the second part is the plane the vertical plane if you want to call it that way x equals 4. If we set them equal to each other to see where they intersect this paraboloid and this plane, we're going to say that 4 equals this much because they both equal to x. So 4 equals 4y squared plus 4z squared. That simplifies to the following 1 equals y squared plus z squared notice earlier i mentioned the one here but the projection of this all the way back will have a radius of one in the y z plane okay now here's the triple integration of x dv of course if there is an x inside or any function inside except one that's going to be something else for applications. We don't have units here. We're just practicing. If it's 1 instead of x, it's going to be a volume. Just keep that in mind. So here's the triple integration. While we are in 3D, we're going to start with this, then going to project down on the YZ plane. When we project on the YZ plane, we'll work with polar coordinates. In the meantime, it's not polar coordinates yet we'll just keep that to integration down below with region d that's region d as you could see the first one is going this way as you could see from x1 equals 4y squared plus 4z squared that's the lower bound and we're going to go up all the way to x2 equals 4 that's what it shows right here x will be x squared over 2. I took the half outside. Do some math here. Simplify and plug in 4. That's going to be 4 to the second. And plug in 4y squared plus 4z squared 4x. So everything is going to be to the second. Uh, the reason why I'm writing my notes ahead of time is just to save you some time from watching a lengthy video. So I do have this ahead of time, as you could see, to save time because I don't want to be drawing or uh, changing colors and writing everything as I'm recording. 
That's the main reason why I call it lecture notes. All right. Now, we are plugging in four. That's four square. We're plugging this. That's going to be square. We could take the four out as a common factor, which is four to the second, and put it outside. As you can see, I took it outside of the y square plus c square as a common factor. Now we could break this down to two parts, and that's going to be 4 to the second outside, so it could simplify. Because I have also 16 here. Okay, now we're going to focus on D, the region D. That's my second step. Region D, or region A, I call it here is y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to 1. Using polar coordinates, I mentioned that earlier. y equals r cosine theta and z equals r sine theta. So y squared plus z squared equals r squared. Back to the triple integration. That's my triple integration. After performing the first part, which is right there, and I do have two integrations left for me. So, this y square plus z square is r square. So I have 16 minus 16 r square. 16 minus 16 r square. To the second. We don't want to forget that. I almost forget that. Okay. I changed the colors here because I wanted to say focused. With r, I used green. With theta, black. And here we go. Simplifying this, applying the half, because 16 minus 16, I could just take the half inside and make this 8, and make this 8, as you could see right there. Keep the green parts together. That's the R. Of course, we have R times 8. After you simplify with the half outside, that's 8R. This is going to be 8 r to the second to the second which is r to the fourth times one more r that's eight r to the fifth theta is not mentioned here so we could take the integration in black by itself as another factor we know how to integrate this it's easy and quick two pi is the final answer but let's keep going we could take eight outside here as a common factor we could put it outside of the integration so we could make our life easier in substitution or substituting 0 and 1 that's r minus r to the fifth since i'm focused here i'm just keeping this in my way but i think we are ready to finish this will be 2 pi and this would be r squared over 2, r to the 6 over 6, plug in 1 and plug in 0. 0 is not going to do anything, of course. So just plug in 1. Plug in 1 here, that's 1 half. Plug in 1 here, that's 1 6. So we have 1 half minus 1 6. We have the 8. We have the 2 pi. Simplify. And if you need a common denominator here, that would be 6. So half would be 3 over 6. 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6, which is 2 over 6, which is 1 third. Doing the math, nothing simplifies here or cancels, cross cancel. So I do have 2 times 1 times 8 with pi on top. Palm side is just 1 times 3 times 1, and that's 16 pi over 3. Uh, as you could see, it's about 10 minutes. Uh, if I write as I'm recording, it's going to be probably like at least 15 to 20 minutes. So that should do it. And thank you. There is more coming. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.